everybody, welcome to another episode of Highlight Harrison. My name is Patrick Lyons. I'm with Hawk Insurance Agency and board member for the Harrison Chamber of Commerce. Today, we're at Shawnee Spring with Chief of Development Officer, Kim Majic. Kim, thanks for having us here today. Absolutely. So, Kim, why don't you tell us, what exactly is a skilled nursing facility and what kind of services are offered here? Yeah, I'd love to tell you a little bit more about Shawnee Spring. So, Shawnee Spring has been in the Harrison community since 2006. And what a skilled nursing facility is, is we provide short-term rehabilitation and what are called skilled nursing services to patients who might have had hospitalization and need some additional physical therapy, occupational therapy, or nursing services before they can actually return home. So they'll come and they'll stay with us for 15 to 20 days and then go home. But we also have patients that maybe are unable to go home right, that their medical condition or their service need is bigger than maybe their family or loved ones can provide in a home setting. And so we have people that live here with us long term, right? And so that's another type of care that we offer here, which is long term care. Um, And that often is residents, like I said, with physical impairments that can't be handled at home and oftentimes cognitive impairments with memory care issues. Um, that can be supported in a secured environment with the caregivers here. And so that actually would transition all the way to hospice care services that we will have patients here who will um, contract with a local hospice company and actually will move all the way through to the end of life. Gotcha. So what, what makes Shawnee Springs stand out? What makes you different than other skilled nursing facilities? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. I've been working for this organization for over 25 years now. And so I think that is probably one of the main things that makes us different and stand out is that we have so many caregivers that have been here for in our company for 30 plus years. Um, there's people that work at Shawnee Spring that have been here since the doors opened. And so that's really special and unusual in um, the healthcare industry, right? There's a definitely a high burnout rate. Um, as well, what makes us different is, you know, we know Harrison is a really special community with some tight bonds and really the goal of Shawnee Spring from its development was to bring the community into this community. And so here at Shawnee Spring, you'll find things like the marketplace that we're sitting in now, um, a Montessori school where a local company actually comes in and provides Montessori school programming to children in the Harrison community. So it's not a daycare for our staff, so to speak, it's an actual school. And that helps our residents still feel connected to the things that they were used to being connected to in their own communities. Um, Coupled with kind of those great amenities is, I think, just the clinical services that we offer that are extraordinary to maybe other providers. Um, Shawnee Spring has a full-time nurse practitioner on staff. So every patient that comes here gets assigned a physician that will come and visit with them. But our nurse practitioner is here five days a week. And so any you know, acute issue that comes up can be addressed by a high level clinician during that time. Um, As well, you know, a full team of physical, occupational, speech therapists and therapy assistants work here at Shawnee Spring every single day. So our team really is invested in those patients that they're working with on a daily basis, getting better and improving and helping them return home. So I'd say those are some of them things that make us different. Well, that's great. Well, that's, uh, that kind of leads me to the next question is, you know, can you just kind of tell us about the staff and the employees that work here a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. One of the things that our organization is really, really proud of is that we do have all of our own staff. So we don't work with contract agencies to provide staff for our buildings. It is our goal that every employee is working for Shawnee Spring. Um, Obviously, that can be tremendously difficult. It's a very competitive market with five big hospital systems in the Cincinnati area. So we really believe in taking care of our team members. And so the team here is really, really committed to caring for patients in a long-term care setting. You know, they're choosing this every single day, which we believe is just such a special calling. Um, Coupled with, you know, the nurses and nursing assistants who, you know, we believe are angels you know, we have full-time dietitian on staff that's going to help to make sure that all of the dietary needs of the patients are met. We have a chef on staff that's overseeing the meal preparation, you know, dining rooms where patients can go and actually eat their meals in a dining room and have a social setting. So all of those people that are providing those services to keep our patients as active and social as possible, they're just such a blessing. We're really proud to have them. Oh, yeah. So that sound, it sounds like you got a great team here. We do. You know, we can, do. You, can you just describe, you know, the importance of having the, 
the local corporate support? Yeah, yeah. So Hairspring Healthcare Management is the management company that helps support Shawnee Spring. Um, that's actually where I work. Um, I've been here for 25 years. I think the thing that I find to be most unique is we're a regional organization. So our corporate team, and we have two physical therapists as our CEO and COO, um, our vice president of nursing, you know, we all live locally. So we can get to any one of our facilities within two hours, right? And that's really important to us that we can provide that facility level support as it's needed, you know? And so, you know, when you have a, maybe an organization that's managed from another state, you just don't kind of have that personal touch. Um, and so we've been able to kind of see everything growing and developing and um, able to support these wonderful facilities. So we find that really important. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, lastly, is there anything new going on with Shawnee Spring that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, you'll see maybe as you walk through, we are under construction. <laughs> So we've been here since 2006, and in 2006, one of the really unique things about Shawnee Spring was our room design. So we have 140 patient rooms here, and some of them are semi-private, meaning you share that room with another resident. But we were very intentional in 2006 that that room was had a dividing wall in between it, although they shared a bathroom and shared a closet. They did have some privacy. Um, the new generation of boomers, right? <laughs> want private rooms. And so what we're undergoing right now is a renovation project where we're adding 30 private rooms to oh, our wow. facility. So those private rooms, residents will have their own bathrooms, their own sleeping area. It'll be a really lovely, lovely space in addition to the facility. So we're really excited about that. That sounds very exciting. Yeah, well, yeah. Thank you very much again, Kim, for having us out here. Absolutely. And thanks everyone for tuning in to another episode of Highlight Harrison. We'll see you around town.